Hi everybody, welcome to Zyber Organics channel. My name is Tunane. I'm the brand owner and founder of Zyber Organics, where I sell cosmetics, candles, also teach you DIY cosmetics on this for on this channel. Hello, welcome. Today we're going to make a relatively an easy formula, a 10% waterless vitamin C or facial oil serum. So a lot of these uh, ingredients on this formula are actually quite swappable and I will give you instructions where you can replace some of the ingredients that I will use. But there's one key ingredient that you won't be able to switch because that's a key and star ingredient of this formula. And that is the vitamin C that we're going to use. The vitamin C that we're going to use is actually called ascorbyl tetraizopalmitate, which is a derivative of vitamin C. There are multiple benefits of this oil-derived vitamin C. It's actually quite stable as compared to ascorbic acid, which is quite known for its instability. Because this is oil-based, it's quite stable and it also has a very good antioxidant properties. Also, it actually produces or actually stimulates collagen synthesis in the skin. Another great benefit is actually protects the DNA damage that comes from the UV. So it's actually quite a lot of multiple benefits of using this. Uh, vitamin C oil version is called ascorbyl tetraizopalmate. Another interesting thing in Japan, this vitamin version of vitamin C is accepted as quasi drug, which means that the preventative sort of hygiene or it's not drug, it's a drug drug, but it's actually accepted as quasi drug. So it has this kind of benefits for the medical med medical benefits on the skin but it's not actually heals it's not like a drug drug as i mentioned so you can also research crazy drug what it means in japan but apparently in the europe there's no equivalent of crazy drug meaning but in japan this is accepted as a crazy drug so it's very very effective basically and also one of the other great benefits is it really has brightening effect on the skin apparently in korea they use it as a skin whitening agent so it's very, very good and it's also very effective vitamin C. Anyway, so enough about this. Let's start using in this formula and it's actually quite very easy to use it. So let me show you and let's start the formula. As usual, you can find the formula on the screen. Uh, this is going to be relatively easy. Actually, it's going to be one pot like and just everything in one beaker. So very easy formula to do. So I'm going to start with the couple of couple of trickle sites. This is a relatively a light uh, oil it's not an oil it's actually an ester so as my, and if you don't have this you can use fractionated coconut oil so i'm going to start with that i'm going to add quite a lot of it it's 67.5 grams next i'm going to add some kiwi seed oil so just to you know you can add any type any type of oil just make sure you don't add too heavy oils and i'm just putting low amounts of other vegetable oils so i'm adding this kiwi seed oil just to get a little bit of vitamin C vibe so I'm just gonna add five grams next I'm going to add some passion fruit oil again we're just going kind of fruity vitamin C vibe for this formula uh, so let's add another five grams of this then I'm adding some apple seed. Again, apple is very, very good. Uh, lots of nutrients in, in this one. So I'm just adding another five grams of apple. And lastly, I'm adding some squalene just to make it really, just to keep the skin quite soft. I love using squalene. So this is going just to improve the glide as well and make it lighter. So another five grams of squalene. Okay, so far so good. Just let's just give it a mix. As you can see, it's quite clear from here as well. It looks like a water, but it's actually quite, it has a bit of yellow tinge to it. Let's continue. So this is where the main vitamin C that I'm going to use. So this is the ascorbyl tetraizopalmate, azopalmate that I mentioned. So you can use this up to 10%. So I'm adding 10 grams of this, quite a lot. As you can see, it's colorless, so just a, like a like a water, basically very very light. Next thing, we're going to add some um, bisabolol. So bisabolol is an anti-irritant. Um, so you can, you can see it from here. Bisabolol is is an anti-irritant, and so also if you have skin, sensitive skin, it kind of keeps the skin um, getting irritated. So you don't need much. You just need very very low amount of this. 
So we're gonna have 0 0.1 percent, 0 0.1, like literally a couple of drops, really. Yep, because it's very strong and yeah. Lastly, we're gonna add some vitamin E and we're gonna add quite a lot of vitamin E. We're gonna add two grams of vitamin E. All right, so we added two grams of vitamin E. And lastly, we're going to add some grapefruit, grapefruit pink. So just kind of give that light vitamin C vibe again. So we got, um, I'm just adding a little bit of vitamin E. If it, uh, I'm just adding a little bit of grapefruit. It's not much, it's only 0 0.4. Okay. So everything is in here. As you can see, everything is in one pot. I don't need to do melting, you don't need to do it, just mix it. So let's just take it out here and just keep mixing it, just keep mixing until everything is blended and becomes unified. I'm going to pour this in a dropper bottle and let's just take, check the texture and I'm also going to explain to you how you can adjust the formula. As you can see, it's almost colorless. Very, very easy formula to do. So let's check, let's check the texture and I'll explain to you how to use it as well. Okay, so here it is. It's quite, as you can see, very transparent, very, very clear. It looks transparent, almost like a water uh, on the product. So let's check it out, how it feels. Let me just smell it. Yeah, because we've got some nice um, grapefruit in it, it really smells super uh, fruity. And as you can see, it's gonna be very, very uh, light, uh, very light oil, it's already spreading down. And let me just, it's quite, it absorbs very fast. Obviously it's still a bit, my hand is still quite shiny, as you can see. Uh, but it's already absorbed, nothing left. I can also put a little bit on my face so that you can see it. So the best way to use this is very, you know, almost like dry oil because we use a lot of carbonate, carbonate triglyceride, which is quite a light emollient. So I'm going to talk about all these emollients and esters in the second part of my formula, Formulation 101, which is um, the continuation of the original Formula 101 service, which is advancing ingredients. I'm preparing the, um, the video as we speak. So it's very, it smells very nice. So it's very, very light formula. It's very easy. To, it's very, very easy to do. It's one beaker, as you can see. Everything you can do is just put the oils together and put the ascorbyl isopart to dry the palm tape in it. Put your vitamin E and everything and just mix together. So on this formula, if you want to adjust this, if you don't want to what I do, there's only two things that you have to really take into consideration, okay? So the unmovable, let's say the fixed part. First, obviously it's a vitamin C formula, so you have to keep the vitamin C, 10% vitamin C, don't change it. Don't, don't change this. You know, you, uh, you, if you don't wanna make vitamin C, <laughs> you know, but basically don't change the 10% vitamin C if you want to have a 10% vitamin C. Another thing is don't change the 2% vitamin E just because you need to have a really good antioxidant to keep the oils you know from oxidizing so you want to have to keep them fresh and also another thing is just that if you want to make this formula I'm all, I'm using a see-through but generally just to keep things a little bit I use either a frosted or a little bit dark color amber color um, or also or maybe keep this uh, oil in a sort of dark place in the cabinet don't get exposed to uh, light too much back to the formula everything else is you can do it okay so if you want if you don't want to use if you don't want to use any of the oils don't like if you want, want to use for example jojoba oil grapeseed oil in other oils maybe you want to add some rosehip or maybe you want to add some 
I don't know, um, apricot oil, apricot kernel, whatever you want to add, you can add it. Um, but just to keep in mind that, you know, people are scared of oils. Instead, maybe you try using light emollients like copper, 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 that are used, or maybe look at some alternatives uh, that are basically like watery, very, very light. Um, one of them is like coco copper. Coco copper is quite dry, so when you actually put it, it actually feels quite dry. So you want to balance that out. So whatever you want to put it, um, you can. So don't change the vitamin C. Don't change the vitamin E and you can keep the rest, uh, everything is amendable. If you wanna add some active extracts, like, I don't know, some carbon dioxide extracts, oil soluble extracts, you can. The way you're going to do this, okay, say for example, you're adding some other oils, just as 12%, the vitamin C and vitamin E, 12%, rest of it, the 8, 8%, you can add anything you want. So let's say if you want to add some seaweed extract or some oil soluble extract, you're going to add 3%. So you're going to reduce that from the rest of the oil. Okay, so you're going to see an example on the screen now so that you can amend this formula if you want to. But this is a very easy, um, this is a oil, you know, formula that you can do, oil serum that you can use. You can use this in the morning, you can use it in the evening. So it's a very, very nice uh, formula that you can actually use at home and it's very, very customizable, except the vitamin C and vitamin E, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And next, I'm planning to do a water-soluble version of vitamin C, a little bit more advanced serum, because we're going to use two versions, I'm going to use two versions of vitamin C. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to have an extra surprising ingredient in it. So that'll be the next formula, so which the next video, so watch out for that. Until then, you take care, have a good weekend and see you later. Bye.